Today we are with you, Marco Fiamelli, the president of the World Congress of LGBTQ plus Jews in the world, the World Congress. Please uh, tell us what is this organization and uh, what is the story of this organization? Yes, thank you. Uh, thank you for the interview. Uh, the World Congress was born um, almost 50 years ago, just after uh, the, um, the Stonewall Revolution in New York City. What uh, is the Stonewall Revolution? Uh, Stonewall was the, was the moment when the, the gay and lesbian people um, uh, desired to fight the police, but to fight the society. And then the Stonewall is, is, is still a bar, um, a, a bar gay, gay bar in New York City, and the people who went the, the night to, the night to, to meet each other and, and to spend time together. Police, the police uh, used to go inside and, uh, and you know, ask uh, IDs and take people to the jail. Uh, because they they were wearing in the you know in the in the right clothes they supposed to do at that time in in uh, in United States you you couldn't wear more than two pieces of your clothes which is what not uh, um, belong to your identity and, um, uh, your sexual identity sexual identity by according to the society you know uh -huh. and so that was mm, it happened more and more and more and then they they decide to to find the police and they they start to you know to fight and uh, some people went to the hospital some people went to the jail and in that moment they understood that the moment uh, for the um, for the uh, to coming out for proud and uh, um, to respect themselves and their identity was was born. So from that moment, the um, the LGBT uh, movement was born. At the time, we called it just gay and lesbian movement, and so that was. Uh, every 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 moment uh, from from New York, then starting in San Francisco, in Los Angeles, in London, in Paris, uh, many years li later in uh, in Italy and uh, and uh, and Spain. Um, Gustavo will explain tell you about Latin America and and so. And the Jewish people thought that. The second uh, identities they had, I mean, to be Jews and to be uh, gay or lesbian, um, they they understood that they had to do uh, something too, and so they start to to gathering and to talk about politically and also according to the to the religion. And at that time, it was not easy for gay and lesbian Jews because even the reform community was was much more conservative in the in the in, in the thought uh, than today. Uh, so they they decided in the United States to create their own um, community, their own synagogue, and then in New York, Beth uh, Hatora in in Los Angeles, San Francisco. Uh, now the community do not like to, to call themselves gay or LGBT synagogue. They just uh, call themselves uh, inclusive synagogue because the time of, you know, to, to fighting for themselves maybe is past, but it's not the same of the time. And they, they open the door to any kind of uh, inclusivity. And so the World Congress started in the United States and the United States and uh, in London and after a few years in also in Paris. Uh, in recently in, uh, in Spain, in the north of Europe and also in Italy. I'm, I am the founder of the 
the first uh, um, LGBTQ uh, Jewish community in, in Italy called Keshet Italia. And just the day after we, we, we created our community, we, th we thought it was important to join the World Congress to have a, non, a worldwide uh, organization as an umbrella who can who could speak with our, in, be, in behalf of us and he could defend us in uh, in especially in Italy in Italy this kind of uh, of uh, emancipation for the Jewish LGBT it's 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 a very recently thing so we, we needed to be supported and we understood for the first time that the World Congress was the, the, the right choice to, to get in the, this uh, very important uh, worldwide of the, uh, LGBTQ Jews. And then I start also to, um, uh, to work as a volunteer and then um, as a, an activist in the World Congress and then I, I decided to, to join the steering committee uh, of the World Congress. The steering committee is it's, it's the, it's the board of, the, of the, the organization. And so I became as a uh, representative from, from the Europe and Israel, and then as a supervisor and then as vi vice president and then uh, since last uh, February of last year as a president. Uh, we are here in, uh, in Mexico because we, we know very well that it's important now to improve our action in Latin America. And that Gustavo will explain how we will do it. And uh, in Latin America, there is so much energy, so many energies from LGBTQ community, from Jewish community, and from LGBTQ Jewish community. So this is more important for the World Congress than for people uh, involved in Latin America. Now, when you founded the, the movement in Italy, did you uh, get a lot of opposition? No, uh, that's what we thought. It actually, it it uh, it was like to to shut down um, a wall, uh, a cream wall, you know, like a cake. It's it was like that people were waiting for that, and then when I opened um, the Facebook page called Cash. Um, um, Cash at Italia, in 24 hours we get like 500 likes. 400? 500. 500. And then we, uh, we, we involve people um, from um, the Roman community and also from, from Milan, also from Milan. And so in, in, uh, in a very small time, we decided to go to the to the authority in uh, in, in the town in the city hall, uh -huh. and uh, uh, we finalized the the uh, every step to 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 become officially, and so the the rabbinic leadership didn't say anything. They we didn't have you know the opposition from them and neither from from the people they just wanted to wait what, what, what is going on in my idea um, probably because they they were they were not not ready for that and and then when my husband and i decided to get married and just after the um, uh, civilian union, we, we, we have the civilian union in Italy uh, from 2016, so it's not mm, too many years ago. And then we decided to also to have a religious uh, marriage. So we, we called a friend of us from 
Vienna in Austria, uh, Arab, um, a rabbi, a reform rabbi, and he came to Rome and uh, he made our waiting. Uh, we rent, um, let's say, beautiful place in a uh, roof garden, in hotel uh, in Rome with a wonderful view. And uh, we had parents, uh, relatives and friends with us. And uh, the people from the community uh, defended our, our choice from people who started to speak uh, very bad on Facebook, putting some fake photos and some things that we can see everywhere. When, when was that? Uh, it was um, uh, September 11, it's very easy to remember, <laughs> 2016. 2016. Yes. So it's quite uh, recent. Yes, yes, it is. It is. And how many people uh, are a part of your community? Uh, Jewish community in, in Italy it's it's quite small. So we decide to have a um, national uh, association. That's why we call Keshet Italia. Uh -huh. And we have people, um, especially from Rome and Milan, the the majority uh, city in Rome. It's it's a uh, uh, we have the uh, affiliated around 70 people and uh, many others, friends, who follow our activities. And, and how does it feel, feel now in uh, Italy to be part of the LGBT plus community? In the Jewish community? In the Jewish, yes. Yeah, it, it feels very, very safe, very, very important. We, we have uh, now... Um, uh, young people join the association. I used to be the, the president of the Cachet Italia. And then I, when I uh, started to, when, when I became vice president of the World Congress, I have to left my position Cachet Italia, also because it was time to, to, to give the hand, I would say, in, in, in Italian, I don't know, it's to, to pass uh -huh. to other people. And, you know, uh, from other people you have, new energy, your new uh, proposal and, uh, and also because to, uh, to stay in, in, in the two positions in the same time was, uh, was too, not difficult, but uh, yeah, some difficult to, to follow. At the time I, I still worked in the army and so I, I had not too much time to, to spend it. And that's what it. did you achieve in Italy? Um, you told me how many Jews are in Italy? Um, uh, 30,000 30, uh, yeah, 30, Jews, um, more or less. Um, uh, I hope um, uh, I'm not wrong. It's more, more or less is that number. And the achieve is to, yeah, to To talk to the Jewish, Jewish communities and to the LGBT movement in Rome uh, in order to, for the Jewish community to be more inclusive about LGBTQ people and not at all uh, to have uh, a kind of uh, homophobia um, actions. In the part of the LGBT movement, uh, we we try to fight anti-Semitism and uh, anti-Zionism. That we know it's almost the same thing. In the second part, it, it, it's not difficult because in Italy we 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 didn't have so far um, so much a big problem uh, about this in in the society in general. Uh, Yes, yeah, some very small uh, thing happened, but nothing very, very important, very, uh, very serious. And uh, uh, also after October 7? Politically, in Italy, we have the right party. It's strongly, uh, this, well, not, maybe not strongly anymore, but they, they, they support Israel and they are strongly beside the Jewish people. 
from the this is from the right party uh, from the very left party from the students from university um, yeah we have some demonstration uh, yeah in, in the university but uh, a couple weeks ago the conference of the president of Italian University decided which is an uh, independent organism independent from the politic decide that what the student some student the movement uh, asked to to break relations rela relationships with the Israeli uh, university was uh, was not in agenda it was not what we want to do it because uh, once is politic uh, once one thing is the is the you know shines a relation between university uh, universities in general around the world lives uh, from uh, relations relationships and it, it's it's very important to between especially between Italy and and in Israel we have the, the very old university in, in, in Italy and and in Israel there are very important uh, campus of re uh, research from science and technology it's 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 not it's not a good thing and we are glad that this organism that the, the 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 conference of the president of university decided and are you part is Keshet Italia part of the community of the Jewish community no 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 no, no. the Keshet Italia is in the, in the independent, independent. That's what we wanted to do uh, since the beginning, because we want that Keshet Italia was um, um, uh, an association for all kinds of Jews, Orthodox, um, Reform, Secular, and others. And also we are open for the friends of Jewish, and we have not Jewish, uh, in uh, in uh, association and also no LGBT people in the association. So it, it's it's open to to everyone because we we believe in the inclusivity because inclusivity give to everyone uh, lots of things. And every 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 everyone can give to some others. So it's something. open to to everybody. Yeah. Not only LG, LGBT. Not only, not only, because we have couples. Uh, I mean, I think uh, my husband and I we are the only couples who was gay and uh, and 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 Jews. So um, many ca um, couples. Uh, one one is uh, Jews and the other no, uh -huh. and so we we include both of them, Everybody. of course, mm -hmm. and uh, some some as uh, sister brothers. Um, parents and it's a community and everything is related to the LGBT Jews it's it's uh, it's it's a kind of uh, you know of uh, of of a world of a, um, um, a kind of safe zone mm -hmm. everybody is around us it's it's made a safe zone for us it's um, a wonderful world. <laughs> Something you know, you know, in general, the world it's make difference between, but it is um, a world of uh, joy and love. It's not to exclude, but to include people.